Here is a test problem for you. Quadratic equation with radical roots. We'll explore that in this problem. Question is, find the equation of a parabola which passed through the point 1 minus 1 with roots at 2 plus minus square root of 3. Right? Now, so basically from this equation, we know the roots are, there are two given roots. So we can say x1 is 2 plus square root 3 and x2 is 2 minus square root 3, right? So these are the two roots. And we are also given a point which is 1 minus 1. We'll use this point to find specifically which parabola is amongst the one which has family of curves going through these two intercepts, correct? Right? These are real roots, so these are the real intercepts or the real zeros. Now, equation of a parabola with given roots could be written in the form of factored form. We say x minus x1 times x minus x2, right? So in our case, x1 is 2 plus square root 3 and x2 is 2 minus square root 3. So we can write this as x minus, within brackets, 2 plus square root 3, bracket close. So, you know, we've got two similar brackets. It's a good practice to use square brackets at times, right? So, uh, you know, at present I'll use the same bracket, but you could always, uh, so x minus, I should have written minus here, x minus, within bracket, the other root, which is 2 minus square root 3, 2 minus square root 3, right? Bracket close. Now let's open these brackets. So when you open these brackets, you get x minus 2 minus square root 3, and here you get x minus 2 plus square root 3, correct? Now at this stage, you can apply the distributive property. When you multiply by x, you get x squared, then minus 2x, and this, and then six terms will be there. Or if you observe it carefully, you'll notice uh, something about a pattern here. That is, what you can do is, you can combine these two terms, right? So if you combine these two terms, treat this as A, then it is like A minus B times A plus B, right? Now, you know, A minus B times A minus B is A square minus B square, correct? Do you remember that? A minus B times A plus B, when you expand, you get a square minus b square. So you did this during difference of squares factoring, correct? So recall that. Otherwise, go through some videos and understand this process. Right? That's a shortcut. Otherwise, you need to just expand and get six terms and simplify. After simplifying, you'll, you're going to get this, which is a square minus b square. So I'll write this as x minus 2 whole square minus square root 3 whole square, right? Now, bracket close, right? Which is equals to a times, now x minus 2 whole square is, let's expand it, a square minus 2ab, which is 4x, plus b square, which is 4, right? That is for the first part, and square root 3 square is number 3, right? So that's what you get. Now this equation I can write here on the right side as y equals to x square a times x square minus 4x and plus 4 minus 3 is plus 1, right? So that is the quadratic equation for us. Now we need to find the value of a. To find the value of a, we can use the point 1, 1, right? So we'll use the point, given point, which is 1 minus 1. It really means x equals to 1 and y equals to minus 1, right? So we'll substitute this point here and then find the value of a, right? So we get 1 for x and minus 1 for y. So we have minus 1 equals to a times, and if you write 1 here, you get 1 square minus 4 plus 1, which is 1 plus 1 is 2, and minus 4 gives you minus 2. So minus 2a equals to minus 1, or divide by minus 2, you get a equals to half. So once you get a equals to half, you can write down the equation, which is y equals to half of x squared minus 4x plus 1, right? So that is the equation which you are looking forward to. This equation is the equation of a parabola, which will pass through the given roots of 2 plus minus square root 3 and the point 1 minus 1, right? So you could even expand this and write as half of 
x square minus 2x plus half, right? So that is your answer for the given problem. So I hope you understand the process. Now let's go through it once and that is, let's recall what steps we did. So we are given two roots for this parabola. One is 2 plus square root 3, the other one is 2 minus square root 3 and the parabola passes through the point 1 minus 1. Since the two roots are given to us, we can write this in factored form, right? So x minus first root, x minus the other root, product of these with a gives you the y value. Simplify this. Important technique was here, we saved a lot of time by using difference of squares, right? Difference of squares is when you multiply difference with sum or sum with difference, you get difference of squares. So, so this stage we applied the formula. Now here we applied a minus b whole square is what, you know, a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? So that's how we expanded x minus 2 whole square and got these three terms, right? So a square x square minus 2ab plus b square minus square root of this. Now we got our equation and this is actually a family, right? So the whole family which is going through this parabola, right? As we can just sketch here to show you how should that look like, right? So let me just sketch it here roughly, roughly. I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to do like this. So that when we are given the two roots, the family could be like this, you know. So there could be many different parabolas going through these two points. Now which one is of our interest? That is the one which goes through point 1 minus 1. Do you understand? 1 minus 1. So that particular one is, is the one we are looking for. So 1 minus 1. Let us say this value is minus 1 for us. So to find the equation of that equation, we have to substitute that value and get value of a. So this becomes our specific parabola. Do you understand? So that is that is what it is. I hope you understand the process and the method of doing it. So with that, I think you are well prepared for the test and I wish you all the best. Thank you.